Welcome to Charlottesville, home of the University of Virginia and the Cavaliers, where around here, they say learning never ends, and they hope to teach a lesson in this one. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see, the UMass Minutemen taking on a team from the ACC, the Virginia Cavaliers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And he takes this from inside the five. Slips through the line. He just about popped that one for a long one, but as it is... A lot of momentum with a solid return. Okay, Here comes the offense on first down. Easy. To the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Back to throw, it's Calandria. Finds his target down the middle. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. It's caught. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just choose up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. A shot toward the end zone. And they weren't able to make the connection. They were looking for an explosive play. Well, even though that was an incompletion, I wouldn't be surprised if this secondary wants to start playing deeper coverages. Because this offense has shown that they're willing to be aggressive. They've got a lot of speed. This defense cannot allow any big plays here in the second half. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. Catch in the middle. It's Brown. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. And that was a really good job by the defense. Again, keeping everything in front of you in that situation. And now you're rewarded with the third and long. So on this down, we'll see if they bring some pressure or if they lay back and play zone. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. 
got his man downfield. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Cavalier! You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He's got great speed. Just a tremendous return. Great run, great speed and vision to really set up this offense. He almost got totally loose on that one. The offense lining up for a first down play. Leaves it with the running back. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Second down. Start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Looking for a man, it's Pumachan. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. UMass quickly back to the line. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He's got it. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. He's going to fire toward the end zone and swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. And it just got enough of the football there by the defender breaking on the football getting his hand on it. He couldn't bat it down, but he got a fingertip on it, tipped that thing away from the receiver, made the big play, saving the touchdown. Got enough for the first. He's finally brought down, but that freshman found some running room. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. Touchdown, you the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. And they add the extra point to finish the drive. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Not going to give him a chance to make a play as they boot that thing through the end zone. offense he wants to start this drive with a pass looking to scramble trying to escape and get it himself and he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment he does a good job of dropping back going through his progressions nothing there what do i do go get some yards make it positive don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. 
Dropping back, it's Calandria. Setting up the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. How about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? He's going to pass on second down. Buys a little time with his feet. Couldn't find anyone open here, and he'll live to fight another play. It'll be third down. And that goes down as incompletion, but that's a smart play. And the QB coach and the OC will be very happy with the decision of the quarterback. He got outside the pocket. He obviously was so he's outside the tackle boxes. He knew he could throw it away as long as he got it past the line of scrimmage. Nothing there, nothing open. Live to fight another down. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. The Cavaliers will try to pin them back with the punt. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Never had a chance. One coverage to get down there and knock him down inside his head. The UMass offense returns to the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so through the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Looking to throw, it's Pumachan. Fires to the middle. Picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Tell you what, when you come out of your own end zone, you know, the shadow of your own end zone, a lot of bad things can happen. You want to gotta get a few first downs, get some space. So if you punt after that point, you can pin them a little bit deep. This is the exact opposite of what happened. Now you set them up in beautiful scoring field position already. Really bad play by the offense. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. A little screen to the running back. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Plays like that with just a second of hesitation in the defense to make sure, and they're able to take advantage here. And they use the great timing with this call, right? Like, you can't call this play all the time, but you want to catch them when they're a little bit aggressive, not thinking about it. Nice job slipping the screen behind them, making the easy catch, and then getting downfield. Pick. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Virginia! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. He'll bring it out. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. The Minuteman going back to work on offense. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on him. Makes the catch down the right side. And he's brought down after a huge completion. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. How about that last big play? You're backed up, and now you've got it first and 10 from the 46. Feeling some heat. Time to take a shot. And it's caught inside the 15. Ripping off a huge 
huge chunk of yardage, and he's got it just outside the 10 at the 11. Uh, the old one gets an attaboy for that play. How about the time they gave their quarterback? Beautiful pocket. They allowed him to survey the field, find his open guy. This offensive line, they are gelling early. Looking to go up top on first down. And that ball is picked off. And they make the play and make sure there's not any scoring opportunity right here before the end of the half. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision here. It's first down, but the offense is just going to take a knee and go to the locker room. As expected, they're content to run out the clock and go into halftime. Side is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The UMass offense returns to the field. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and that they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening ground. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get... The expressway is wide open, and there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. Whole situation changed after that last big play. Now it's first and 10 from the 39. Looking downfield, it's Pumachan. Throwing right. Makes the grab. Touchdown, Minuteman. And once he got loose, it was all over. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Yeah, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage, the defenses are going to have to get something, take it out. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Virginia sending its offense back onto the field. They'll try the run. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. On second down, just keeps firing. Finds a tight end. All the way out to the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 15. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same. Catch inside the 30 and still running. Touchdown, Cavaliers. And that one will put him up here in the second half. 
And so many times the safeties tell the tape, and that's what QBs are studying and reading. And he drops back, and you can tell he sees his receiver coming from the right side, and he knows exactly where he's going to end up with that post. He pushes the ball down the field for the big play, got the safety out of position, made the big touchdown throw. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Minutemen going back to work on offense. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down here. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. That's a way to give yourself some breathing room. Now the second play of the drive from the 36. Oh, he had it right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. Gets it to the back. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Love the play by the defense. They just did a good job understanding where the running back was on that play. After the catch, they're able to make the tackle right away, and now they've set up third down. Now facing a third and long. He's going to fire deep. And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. Trying to take it back. The 40. The 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Virginia. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. I love this free safety and how he plays center field. And oftentimes, he's able to bait QBs into bad decisions. He did it right here. Made the quarterback think he was dropping one way, put his foot in the ground, got in front of that pass, and then showed you the wheels, returning it for a touchdown. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. Pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. That's the end of the third They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Let's it fly. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Big play offense, and it has them threatening now. First and 10 from the 25. Looking to pass. It's Pumachan. Throws to the tight end. It's caught downfield. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. UMass quickly back to the line. Man, he looks like he's in a rhythm on this drive, right? Three for three. He's going where he needs to go with the football. The defense doesn't have any answers for him. Find the offensive coordinator. I'm letting this guy keep chucking it down here close to the goal line. Makes the grab, and he will score. Touchdown, UMass. UMass, number 81, with the grab and the score. The AT unit on the field. 
And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Trailing by a touchdown here in the fourth, they'll try to get it back with the onside kick. They're on it, and they get it back for another drive. And this is why you keep fighting. You just got your score on offense. Now you needed a miracle to come through with the onside kick so you can get one more possession to maybe go win this football game. Nice execution. And guess what? There's still time left on the clock. To the air on first down. He's looking deep. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. This quarterback desperately wants to make a chunk play, but they're going to be deep as the deepest, wide as the widest. He's got to be patient. No doubt. Situational football is probably one of the most underrated, untalked about things, like understanding the situation. I have the lead. They have to take shots down the field. I'm Touchdown, Minuteman! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. And a little bit extra pressure on this extra point, but it's good, and we're tied. Now they'll try to get another possession with an onside kick. They got it, able to recover the onside kick, and they get the offense right back out there. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. This defense has to hold it right where it is. Score tied late in the game. The gift to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. The clock has stopped as we have reached the two-minute warning here in the ball game. They'll line up for a second down play. To the air, it's Calandria. Oh, looked upfield too soon and dropped the football, and it'll be third down. Third and long, defense knows the pass is coming, so they're going to have guys with their eyes on the QB, but they are going to try to get to him with pressure, pinning their ears back. If you're on offense, you might be thinking blitz here. You better get rid of this one quick. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the... And this is going to be intercepted, a big play in a tie game. He was trying to get that return going. Instead, he'll hand it to his offense at the 38. The defense was looking for a huge play in this tie game, and they have just given their team a great opportunity. I think, Reese, at this point of the game, tied late, it's going to come down to who can make the most plays. The defense comes up with a massive play, creating that turnover. Outstanding job by the D, all 11 guys being on the same page, now putting their offense in great position. In defense, you have to have great eyes. You have to have good vision on the quarterback to be able to see. You can tell he's throwing the football right now. Watch the defense react, come up, get the wide receiver on the ground. He goes nowhere. Makes the grab, it's Simpson. They get him down after he makes the catch. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. Third down play from the gun. The throw. The freshman quarterback, very fortunate for that one to fall incomplete. Well, the defense finally showing some life there. It's been tough sledding, too, because this offense has been lighting them up through the air, but a nice individual effort that time, forcing the incompletion. A tie game here late, and they do not want to give up this football. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. 
That is just a play you have got to be able to come up with. They don't get bigger than that. Fourth down, you've got to make the catch. Whether it's a perfect throw or whether it's off of your body, you're good enough and you're athletic enough to haul that play. And you've got to make the play for your quarterback and your offense to keep that drive alive. He's not able to come up with it. Quarterback checking the play. He just couldn't hold his water long enough in the line of scrimmage. It'll be a penalty. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. A first down for the offense. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, i got to get my feet set. Make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on. And I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. To throw. It's Calandria. It's complete to the left. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And how good is it for a quarterback to have a running back he not only can just dump it off to, but can actually be dangerous as a receiver? Agreed, Reese. It's not just check downs or screens or swing routes or flat routes. This guy can get vertical. And he can all of a sudden start stressing defenses in the second level. What a weapon it is to have this guy in your backfield. On third and long, try to convert through the air. It's complete on the right side. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. The Cavaliers with the first and ten. They'll run it. It's Brown. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. Defense calls a quick timeout there. Perhaps a little confusion about what call they were in. This offense right on the doorstep. They can grab the lead late as time continues to wind down. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. Touchdown, Cavaliers! And in the final moment, they've taken the lead. And man, this game has been awesome. Some back and forth. Now you take the lead late. Nice job by the offense. And now you just need your defense to come through for you. One more time. One stop. Less than a minute remaining. Go out there and finish this thing. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. some ground quickly, David. Got to be smart. Can't throw in front of the sticks. Can't get tackled in front of the sticks. Make sure we're taking some shots down the field. Chewing up some yards. Jesse, the defense will be vulnerable here. Yeah, and I think because of that, David, offensively, you got to have a plan. You got to know where your best matchup is out on the perimeter and who can make the big catches here in small windows. Back to throw. It's Pumachan. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. It's complete! A huge pickup! Offense will use a timeout with 28 ticks remaining. Man, if I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Corners right up on that line of scrimmage. Comes out throwing on first down. He's right on target. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. 
<laughs> and quarterback dropping back, understanding. I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Looking at a second and short now. Snapped it in the shotgun. He'll get rid of it. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds incomplete. UMass quickly back to the line. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Fires to the wideout. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. This really has been a master class by the quarterback with decision-making, right? We've already seen him throw multiple touchdown passes in the game. He's understood when to take his shots and when to throw it away when things aren't there, like on that last play. Going for it all. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going.